super quick video. Just want to talk about car ignition coils. So this is the old type. A lot of you will recognise this. Basically an auto transformer. It's a dumb coil. Basically there's no driver circuitry built into this. It's just a transformer in there. Auto transformer. Two connections for your low voltage. One of them is common to the high voltage as well. So the high voltage ground is also the ground for the negative to the chassis of the car. Not really what I wanted to talk about. Now this is a bit newer type and this does have built in dry circuitry. Whoops. So as you can see this potted area in here there's some transistors and some protection etc to drive this. So this thing has four connections. So as you can see there's RPM that goes off to the tachograph, tachograph in the car to uh, tell you the engine speed. So we don't need that one. Then there's this one labelled number one. This is for the signal. This coil needs a signal. And then there's the ground and this is the positive and it's fed through these ballast resistors. So all we need to do is put a positive on here, a ground on here and a signal on here. So we'll just fire up my power supply and I'll show you how this works. So first we connect up our 12 volt ground which is also the ground for the high voltage. So I've put this little crocodile clip on here for it to arc to. So then we connect up our positive 12 volts. And as I said before, that goes to these ballast resistors. And then all we need now is a signal. Now the way the car does this, the car's ECU grounds this pin when it wants it to fire. So we'll just put a wire on there that we can ground it with, and then I'll demonstrate it running. So I've made a connection to the uh, signal pin. And as I said before, the ECU just grounds this, so we can do the same with this piece of wire. We'll just touch this to ground. And there you go. You could do this with a small signal generator if you wanted to run this coil for a high voltage project, but this is just a quick way to test it, or if you just need a high voltage spark or source for something. So there you go, hope that was useful to someone. Thanks for watching guys, more to come soon. Thanks guys.